everybody. Darren, you good in the back? Good. Excellent. Diego, thanks for the time. Let's go ahead and open it up. I can start it off. How are you doing? Um, I want to just ask how that first game felt, how you felt you performed in the team overall felt in that first opening game. Yeah, I feel I feel good because of course because they they win. But I also I feel good because uh, every first match is uh, is hard because it's the first one of the of the season and uh, is yeah how you start and it's good to to start with a win and to have the confidence to keep working and keep improving and yeah starting in a good way. How does it feel to get that first, like, to open the season with Columbus? You didn't get to do that last season. How does it feel to get that first full season going here? That's, yeah. Uh, for me, it's good because uh, I have the preseason with, with everyone and uh, start the season with the, all the team and uh, have the full season with the, with the team. It's going to be uh, good and uh, was good to have this season with them to uh, keep uh, knowing each other and uh, keep improving together. So uh, it was a, a good season. Now we start the season and uh, I feel feel good. I know there was some officiating that both sides were not very happy with during the game. What do you do to make sure those em those emotions don't affect your game or affect your play? About what? Like with the officiating, when the call doesn't go your way, how do you make sure those emotions don't affect your play continuing on? Yeah, it's part of the of the game. Uh, you need to be focused on what uh, what you can do or what you can uh, uh, yeah do on the game. And for us, is to play and be be ready for the next play. And uh, is how we try to to work on the, on the pitch, so uh, you need to be focused on, on your game and uh, be ready for, for the next the next place, how uh, a professional had to do it. And one more thing I want to ask is, uh, Conca Castle, you guys got Houston, you finally know you're playing. I, know, I remember you were saying that you're really excited to play in that tournament, so what is it like now knowing who you're playing and you're about to get that going in a few days? Yeah, uh, it's good that we have uh, a lot of competitions and you have uh, a lot of games and all that stuff because uh, that means that you did really well the, the last season. So uh, I think it's going to be a good year for, for us because, because of that, because we have a lot of different competitions, a lot of games, and it's going to be uh, good for everyone and yeah uh, every time you have the, the opportunity to play for uh, in this case for an international competition is 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 nice and we are uh, working also for that but uh, now in the weekend we have MLS and we are now focused on on that thank you yeah, looking ahead to Minnesota, I'm not sure if you watched any film on them, but just what are you looking to kind of improve on as a team or individually uh, just going into that match? It's an early match. Yeah, uh, it's going to be uh, hard like every every game here in MLS. You, you can see that every team has a, a good players, good team, so uh, yeah, we are training and and working hard for for this game uh, also. But we are focused uh, every time on our ideas on our style of, of playing. That uh, is very important for us. And uh, yeah, if we I think we are good in our we our way of playing and. Uh, our idea we are going to be close to the to the win is it hard for uh you and the other guys to not think about the future and to keep it one one game at a time is it 
do you find yourself kind of wandering, thinking about the future games like Tuesday against Houston? Or do you just still have that mindset of, all right, this is the first deal and then go on about that? No, for me, it's easy uh, to be focused on the next game uh, because it's what you have near you and you need to be focused on that. Uh, if you want to be well in all of the competitions, you need to be uh, game by game and trying to win uh, every game that as possible as you can. So, uh, yeah. I'm focused on now on Minnesota and I don't think about the next game because this is, I think, the way that everyone should be uh, thinking. And then, yeah, after we finish the match, you start with the recovery and thinking about the next the next game. It's the way that I think everyone here has the same the same feeling. Last one for me, do you have a any particular favorite thing you do before uh, before the start of the game? No, only drink mate. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Diego, I'm curious. Um, did you do any individual speed work in the off season yourself? No, normal. I train and I try to come back uh, fit, and that's that's the like. Everyone here try to come as fit as we can, and mm -hmm. I think everyone come in a really good shape. I noticed in the game on Saturday that, and I'm asking you to help me understand this, that you were underserved on a couple, several actually, passes, especially into the middle, where they found your trailing foot instead of your front foot. It looked like you were moving quickly into spaces and some passes were underserved, so they weren't ahead of you, they were behind you. I contributed that to you moving very quickly and your teammates not necessarily reading that pace. Was that more a function of Atlanta's defense than it was the service of the ball? Or can you help help shed some light on any of that? No, I think it was just a Timing, about timing. Yeah. It was not about if I'm faster than than the the game or or the pass was wrong. It was about timing and uh, like I said, this is the first game and sometimes the first game is a little bit like this. Mm -hmm. uh, we know each other, but the first like uh, official game every is. The first one of the of the season, so now we you start to to feel that again, and uh, we need to yeah keep improving. But it was not about uh, if I'm quicker or the pass was not good. Uh, it was just a few plays uh, that goes in that way, but nothing to nothing different. We know you're one of the quickest guys in the league, so that being said, when we see you stop is when you're set up for a set piece, in particular a corner kick. A couple of different versions of corner kicks on the weekend. Is that set piece um, plan something that changes from week to week, or uh, do you have a few plays in your back pocket that you know you, you can rely on that you've worked on in training? Yeah, we prepare every game. Different and then it's about also the player what you can feel uh, in that moment. So, but yeah, we prepare every game different, and mm -hmm. uh, that's what we train on the week before the game. Okay, thank you. Okay, Diego, the, you guys got your ring, you know, your rings on Saturday, and then the banner was unveiled. How? How hard was it for you, or do you think how hard was it for the team to keep those emotions in check before the match? Yeah, it was some, something that we tried to, to, to talk about, that this kind of celebration doesn't uh, affect us and uh, 
yeah, we try to be like a team together and be focused together because yeah, we have a nice part and we enjoy that that part of the uh, of the celebration with our fans was uh, really nice. We were very happy, but after that we uh, make that click and be focused. We and I think we start really well and. And that part doesn't affect us and because we were together and we were uh, after we start we finished that celebration we were really focused on on the game coach talked last year about being able to finish games especially like on the road and encapsulating the, the performances at home and bringing it with on the road how have you guys worked on being able to bring that that home atmosphere to your away matches? Yeah, maybe the, of course we have our fans and our, our atmosphere is really, really good for us. Uh, and it's always, it's gonna be different to play in front of our, our fans, but uh, the idea and the style of playing uh, I think doesn't have to, to change so uh, we are uh, training on that and it's the way that also we go away and we play the same the same football and this is I think very important for, for us. And last one for me how special was it for you you know for you to have a sellout crowd and start the season on the right foot. That's really important uh, to start in, in this way for, uh, for, of course, to have the three points, but uh, to, to have the confidence to keep going on the, on to the next match and to, to the season that after a victory you can work uh, Easily, so it's it's nice to to have that victory and now uh, go to Minnesota and try to to do the same. Thank you. Welcome. Diego, can you talk about Tuesday and the ring celebration? I know you talked about you know you're locked in at the game, and now you have this opportunity to kind of celebrate with the team with significant others, and then uh, what that was like, and then getting ready to focus now on Minnesota in 2024. Yeah, it was was really nice to be all, all together have a we have a great uh, great time together and uh, we get the, the ring and we were with our families and it was a great time that we enjoy and we uh, yeah we spend time together but it was good that we do it early on the on the season because uh, yes we need to enjoy that part but now we are focused on the on this season so as soon as we can do that was for me was better because now we are focused on the on the season and on the games that we have that are uh, very important for us uh, yeah we enjoy that part but now it's finished and we are focused on the on the season great thank you diego thank, thank you